Hello everybody. So today I am being featured on the Exploring Cricket blog. So if you came here from Exploring Cricket, welcome to my blog. I'm so excited to have you here. Um, if you are a regular follower, follower of my blog, I hope you do go check out exploringcricket.blogspot.com um, to see what kind of projects they offer there and hopefully become a follower of them as well. So, as I mentioned, I am a guest designer today on the Exploring Cricket blog, and um, my project today is I have a friend who just turned 27. My friend Alan and I went to grad school together, and um, we became fast friends in grad school, and he I haven't seen him in a couple months now. So, he's actually coming up to see me uh, next weekend. <clears throat> So I wanted to make him this card for his birthday and give it to him when he arrives um, on that Friday. So I did the Father's Day card uh, cartridge and I chose the beer can. And what I did is I went to Cricut Craft Room, uh, the computer application, and I welded the first layer together and then I went ahead and cut out the second layer in both blue and silver uh, to give it a Bud Light type of feel because that is his beer of choice. We're doing that and then because of the holes right here, I did do an extra um, layer in here where it will I'll glue this down, this piece down first and then glue the remaining layers on top of that. I did this just so I can glue the blue onto here when all is said and done. So um, stay tuned and we'll get started right away. Um, I do want to let you know, yes, I did this in Cricut Craft Room. I don't have the dimensions per se. Um, I do believe that this image is, basically I just cut it to, um, I, I lined it up with my eye and said, okay, this looks good. So this was cut at, let's see here, it was cut at a little over five and a half inches, and then the first layer of, or first side of this without hiding the contour, um, that looks at about three and a half, a little less than three and a half. So I learned Cricut Craft Room today when I was trying to cut this um, I thought you know I'm gonna do a card and I'm gonna make my own card so this better work and I just made a couple mistakes as I went but I figured it out I think there is a definitely a learning curve on it so um, for the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to put this layer on top um, I'm sorry behind here so that the white is as hidden as possible um, and then we'll be able to start gluing the top portion of it as well. So I'm just using my Zig 2A glue and I'll probably even uh, speed this portion up so that you stay entertained. There we are. So that's the first layer. The next layer we're going to do is the silver. And most of this paper did come from Recollections, if you were wondering. And basically for this we're just going to line it up. Make sure that everything is even. And then the next layer is blue, and that's going to fit right inside of the gray. So let's take this out and glue this on. So, there is the card, 
itself, a very quick, simple card. Um, what I was also thinking about doing was putting some stickles on it to kind of give um, dimension of um, probably like the, the can sweating. Um, so I was planning on doing something like that. I was either thinking um, like a silver, it's not silver, like a uh, silver, or the more I think about it, either um, like a stardust or or frosted lace. But the more I think about it, I bet a blue would look nice on there as well because obviously the sweat on a can isn't white. It's more of the it's it's water, so it's see through. So maybe a waterfall, like that. Let's see, waterfall, true blue, turquoise, So that kind of gives it a, a wet look, wouldn't you say? I like that. And then um, on the on this portion, I'll put I'll write best bud light because Bud Light, and then he's um, one of my good friends, so um, I thought that was cool. And then on the inside of the card, I will write in a white pen here to wish him a happy birthday. And that's it. So here's my card, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you were to do this card and you want to try Cricut Craft Room, I would say just line it up as much as you want. Um, there really is no specific measurements besides the ones that I gave you at the uh, beginning of the video, and go from there. Um, you can't go wrong, and I think that you will be quite pleased with the final outcome. So, thanks so much for stopping by. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.